Miss Bob, I've just made it to level 26. A penguin with sunburn. <gasps> Watch out! You nearly sat on Peggy. Oh, sorry. She was camouflaged. She's the same colour as the blanket. So here's another one. What do you call a... Com Uh-oh. Come on, Peggy. I'll finish that joke later, Ralphie. Can't wait. And it's Ralph. <laughs> To you. I won't. But you're a chameleon. You should be great at hide and seek. Yeah, yeah, you can like change colour and stuff. But I do not want to play. I want to be alone. Aww. Oh dear. We must go and see what's wrong with that chameleon, Peggy. Sad chameleon. Very sad. Eyes closed tight. Whispers coming. Curtis. Hey guys, look who it is. Hello you three. Hey Curtis, what's up? I don't want to play hide and seek. Oh, but I think you'd be really good at it. Yeah, because chameleons can blend in with things by changing colour, right? Mm. Uh-huh, that's right. That's true. Well, this chameleon's not for blending, okay? Oh, can you just tell me why you're so sad? i forgotten how to, I've forgotten how to change colour. Wow. There, now I've said it. That's terrible. I thought all chameleons could change colour. Yeah. This is a disaster, Curtis. I might just as well be any old boring grey lizard. You'll never be boring, Curtis. But I'm sure we can find a way to remind you how to change colour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I know, I know. If we squirt you with berry juice, you'll turn purple. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great idea. Oh, oh. No, Alfie. I don't think that's the answer. No. Please, stop! Whatever. Curtis, if we can find a way to make you happy, maybe you'll remember how to change colour. Hmm. So, what would cheer Curtis up? Hmm. Let's ask another chameleon. No good. I haven't seen another chameleon for weeks. Months, even. That might be because they're all good at hiding, because they can change colour. <laughs> oh, sorry. We know what would cheer a monkey up. Swinging through the trees! Yeah. <laughs> hey! Put him down! He's not having fun! Sorry! Yeah, looking a bit green though. I think it's because he's not feeling very well. I'll never change colour again. I'm stuck being grey and boring forever and ever. Oh, hello. That's awful. Wait, jokes. Do you like jokes, Curtis? A good joke can make anyone laugh. I don't know. I know the best joke teller in the world. I bet he can cheer you up. Martin, can you hear me? Come close and help me. Whisper, I can hear you. So you want me to tell a few jokes, eh? To cheer this fellow up? No problem. Ah, ah, ah. Here's one. Why do birds fly south in winter? <laughs> because it's too far to walk. <laughs> <laughs> OK, OK. How about this one? Why do gorillas have big fingers? Because they have big noses. Oh. You know, because they like to... <laughs> <laughs> Not funny. I might as well just go off into the forest all alone. Oh. No, Curtis, wait, please. What do you call an elephant in a tree trunk? Stuck. Uh, why does a giraffe have such a long neck? Because their feet stink. I can hear giggling. Where's it coming from? Curtis, look! That's a good one. Friends, chameleons. I haven't seen another chameleon for... I can't even remember. Is that you, Claire? Yeah. <laughs> Curtis changed colour. See? You can still do it. You're right. I can. Oh, Curtis, you know we chameleons change colour to show how we're feeling. And seeing you all has made me feel happy. 
You've brightened me up. Us too. <laughs> See, you hadn't forgotten how to change colour, Curtis. You just needed to change your mood. Thanks for your help, Whisper. And thank you, Monty, for the comedy. Without you, these guys wouldn't have shown up. Not a problem. I knew I'd crack it. Does this mean we can play hide and seek now? Why not? You monkeys count. We'll hide. Yay! Brilliant! One, two, three, four. They'll never five, find me six, now. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not. <laughs> Good luck, monkeys! <laughs> Eyes closed tight, whisper and friends, made things right! OK, Whisper, hit me with your best joke. What do you call a chameleon who can't change colour? I don't know. Curtis? Nope, don't get it. Shh. Into the jar. Oh, want to do marbling. Later, Puggy. Right now, someone needs us. I can't reach. I'm Whisper. I can talk to you.
this. He's a great jumper. No way. They won't harm you. They made the hole so Honey Bear could have her honey. Off you go before the honey runs out, Kev. Go on, Kev. Jump! I really can't deal with those bees, guys. I'm not a big, brave croc at all. Sorry I let you down. Ah! Have they gone? Yes, Kev. Don't worry. And my honey keeps on popping into the pond. This is a disaster. It's okay. I've got another idea. Bees like nectar, right? Now, let me see. <gasps> Peggy, can you just grab a few of those flowers and pop them in the end here? We do helping. Great! Off you go, Peggy. The bees will love those flowers. Whisper, you are the coolest dude I know. Here goes. One, two, three, jump! Good as our honey run for the little bear. You're what? 